The eye exam is an important part of the physical assessment, not just an exam performed by ophthalmologists and optometrists. The eye is the only place in the body where veins and arteries can be seen non-invasively. An eye exam can reveal important details about a patient's general health, such as the effects of high blood pressure, diabetes, or increased intracranial pressure. When performing an eye exam, the basic steps are the same for most ophthalmoscopes. Special features on each ophthalmoscope help support you during a challenging eye examination. Hillrom manufactures two types of Welsh Allen ophthalmoscopes, a traditional ophthalmoscope and our Wide View Welsh Allen Panoptic Plus ophthalmoscope, designed to give you a 20 times larger viewing area to help support faster and easier eye exams. Now, let's move on to the exam. With any retinal exam, you may want to dim the room lights to help dilate the pupil and improve your view. To correct for your vision, look through the ophthalmoscope at an object that's at least 10 feet away. Adjust the focus wheel until the object you're looking at is in clear focus. All standard Welsh Allen power handles have a dimming rheostat, and our Lithium Ion Plus handle offers precise brightness control for easier exams. Turn the scope on to full intensity. You may want to adjust later for patient comfort. The Panoptic features all the familiar filters and apertures. Set aperture to appropriate filters. We will perform this exam with the large aperture. The correct working distance is important with any ophthalmoscope. Devices like the Panoptic let you stay further from the patient. You'll get better with practice, but you'll know you have the right distance when you get a good view. If using the optional eye cup, explain to your patient that in this exam, the eye cup will only touch their brow, not their eye. Instruct the patient to focus at a distant object level with you. The Panoptic Plus features quick eye alignment, where two lights on the patient's side help you guide their gaze for better optic disc alignment. Have them look at the red light for a right eye exam and to the lemon-lime yellow light for the left eye. Start the exam about 12 inches away at a 15 degree angle on the temple side of the patient and level with the patient's gaze. You may want to use your opposite hand to brace from the patient's head to the front of the scope. This technique can help with stability and precision. Now focus on the patient's pupil and look for the red reflex. Slowly follow the red reflex toward the patient and into the pupil until you're about an inch from the patient's eye or when the eye cup compresses slightly against their brow. If you lose the image, pull back slightly and then approach again. 